It's Nashville Hot Chicken Week here in Nashville, Tennessee, and today we're going to be eating some of the craziest hot chicken combinations known to man. So the first part we're going to have is High Fi Clyde's, where they have this hot chicken avocado toast combination. I don't know, but let's try it. Come on. Jake gets a little nervous when we walk into places because we get an audience, but just remember, we're the biggest foodies in Nashville, Jake. What's up, man? Welcome to High Fi Clyde's. Right how on. Doing today? Good, doing good. We're ready for some hot chicken. Hot chicken. It's yeah. Hot chicken. It's hot chicken when you're there we go. You see it? We're having it. Is it just, is it just two of you? Just yes, two. please. Yeah. Thank you. It's a cool little restaurant. Do you guys have any questions at all? Have you guys been here? Never been no, here. No, never time. been here. Yeah. We're known for our brunch, so we have okay. some pretty cool brunch food. We have mimosas for eight dollars. Double mimosas, Bloody Marys. We have a fully functional coffee bar, so you can get all the coffee you want. Sweet. Tell me more about this hot chicken week, though. So we have a special one on. It's a seven dollar avocado toast and we have a piece of chicken on top of it, so it's pretty cool. The description of the avocado toast should be on the menu, and then we just add a piece of chicken on it, $7, so awesome. that's our special for hot chicken. So this is like a competition with the other restaurants that are participating in Nashville Hot Chicken Week? I think High Five Clyde's is one of the best restaurants in Nashville, in my opinion, okay. so. Might be a little biased since he works here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you guys form an opinion, though. Okay. Sweet, so, sweet. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate sure. you, man. Yeah, Thank man. you. This right. place is so cool. Look, leather couches, pinball machine. How have we never found this spot? I don't know, it's hidden. We might have to come back and do a full video if this Maybe, hits. Maybe, but let's, you know what? Slow her down, cowboy. Let's try this hot chicken avo first. Hey there. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you guys? Good, good, thank you. We just want to get one of those hot chicken avocado toasts, please. Just one? Just one, yeah. We got a lot of eating to do today. <laughs> so flopping off, thank you. All right, so we're just going to get one of these. I'm going to try here. Jake's going to try the next one, and we're going to keep flopping back and forth because we got a lot of hot chicken to today. So you may be wondering how we're finding all these places. Well, they made an app and it literally has every single thing. They also have a section called like the 10 commandments where they say order other things from the menu too, not just the special because it is $7. Obviously it's a deal. They don't want people just coming in for $7 food and then dipping like we are. It also says tip well, but there is no one here. So we're just going to get out of here, you know, just a $7 thing. Amazing. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, you guys. So our avocado hot chicken toast just arrived at the table and let me tell you, wow, I have have to say this truly looks really good i'm gonna read to you guys what's inside so that we all know what we're getting into before we get into it so obviously we got hot chicken we got avocado hot pepper jam spicy avocado cream applewood bacon feta sunny side up eggs cilantro served with a side of awesome sauce wow this is gonna be crazy i almost want to cut it in half so i can get a better bite so let's check it out oh that looks nutty that looks Nuts. All right, you guys, so here goes nothing. Avocado hot chicken toast. Let's get it. Whoa, it's dry rub hot chicken. That thing hits you in the back of the throat, but cools you with that nice creamy avocado. And that awesome sauce, oh baby, let me tell you. It's definitely awesome. This is dynamite in the mouth, guys. This is truly a great way to start the video. I will say though, they pre-salt it, so it's pretty salty. I will say that's one negative of it, but chicken is juicy, it's tasty. Hey, I kind of like hot chicken avocado toast. This should become a thing. Let's hit the next place, come on. Alrighty, folks, for our next one, we have a hot chicken empanada. That's gonna be really interesting. Let's go see what this Wilco restaurant is all about, come on. Looks busy. That's popping. Oh, right look now. at that little Volkswagen sign. That's pretty cool. They got a fireplace in the sky up there. How you doing? Good, good. We need to try one of them right here. One of those right there. Just that, please. Just one or two. Just, Just one. one. Ooh, number 13. That's my lucky number. So this restaurant has like an open kitchen sort of thing going on, which I really do like, and I do see the crosses everywhere, which I also can get behind right here. I love a godly company, so let's see how it is. Let's hope it's holy. She just flipped it over, and that's even more beautiful. You are loved. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be honest. This might be my first time ever having empanada as well, so might as well try it with Nashville hot chicken. Where is the chicken? It's probably deep down inside. It's, it looks like it, a it, mustard on top. It looks like a Dijon or something like that. Let's see. I don't know. It's hot. Oh. It's like a hot mustard. Okay, cut it in half. Let's see what's inside. Enough with the sauces, man. Let's see what's inside. 
Oh, it's thick. That's like double, triple fried. Let's see. Oh, okay. So it's like shredded chicken, kind of. What is that thing on? Is that like a bully stick for a dog? I think that's the chicken. Oh, interesting. Okay, give it a try. Do I dip it in the sauce or just send it? I think send it on its own and then do a second bite of the sauce. It's so hot. In the meantime, while we're waiting for this one to cool down, this is an awesome time to point out this awesome merch I'm rocking, brennantaylor.com. We also have a couple anti-social t-shirts left, so if that's your thing, you know, we got jackets, we got it all. brennantaylor.com, pick something up. All right, now taste it. It's still hot because you rambled so fast, but here we go. Oh, that bite looks juicy though. I mean, let's see what's inside. It almost looks like that's like chicken as well, shredded chicken, but I don't know what that dark piece is about. Give us your thoughts on your... I'm really getting no Nashville hot flavor from it. It's not bad, it's not good. I will say this wrap, the empanada part of it, it's kind of on the sweeter side. It's like a Dijon message, so it has a little bit of a kick, but I'm not really getting a Nashville hot chicken out of it. I'm just getting a... a they probably just put normal chicken in it today. They put a little Nashville hot oil on it. Is it good? It's all right. Would I want to come back and try anything else on this menu? Probably not. All right. So the next spot. Let's go. For our next spot, we have Hoppy Bird, where they're making a hot chicken sandwich like I've never seen before. Let's go check it out. After you, good sir. Oh, look, they even do performances here. I might get up on the stage and sing one of my hit songs. Oh, baby. So that's what everyone's here for right now. You get one of those chicken waffle things, sandwiches? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to look at the rest of our uh, special menu? Oh, I'm sure. Like the other places you we have like multiple. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to see it. Yeah. What do you got? Yeah. Let's see, maybe he's got something a little bit more interesting, but I definitely want that slider. It's literally a waffle, hot chicken, a waffle into a sandwich. Ow. All right, guys, so it just came out here and check this out. It absolutely looks insane. They're little sliders that so you get two for seven bucks. That's a good bang for your buck right here. You got a pile of butter on the top for your waffle, and I'm just gonna take a bite of it. It's got crispy bacon. It looks like it has some kind of Cajun seasoning on it or some kind of seasoning on that bacon. It has like the syrup right there on the side, too. Ooh, sh I think I wanna taste it on its own. Maple okay. syrup. It's there for a reason. Pop right? me over with your hand, because I only got one hand here. Oh, God, my hand's a little bit slippery. I'm just gonna get a little pour, okay? Came with it. Ooh, just a little bit more. Mm. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, baby. That's freaking spicy. Very, very dry rub spice. That might be the hottest one we've had today. Oh my god. And that's actually really good. I will say though, the waffles itself make it such a thick amount of dough. Instead of like a normal bun, it becomes a lot more of a mouthful. But let me tell you, with that hot, hot chicken, there's nothing to absorb the heat. It's good, it's interesting, but I'm almost wishing there was a more of a flavor on there, like some kind of sauce. I mean, the syrup helps it a little bit, but I wish if there was like a spicy aioli or something to really nail this down as a hot chicken sandwich, I think I'd like it a little bit more. It's spicy, dude, my lips are burning. So, okay, little weird thing. This is the first restaurant today that had its own special menu on top of the special menu. They had three items instead of just the one. Right here is Nashville hot I mean, egg rolls. They look pretty freaking fire just looking at them. I don't know if I should go for the soy or should I go for the mayo. I don't yeah. know, man. Maybe both? Maybe one? Uh, Maybe one at a time. Let's go that one first. Ooh, mm, there's like a cream cheese in there too. Definitely spicier than anything else we've had today. This is a really good egg roll. I don't know about that one. That one doesn't look that appetizing. This one's good. Try that other sauce now. You tell us which one's better. He's dancing. If you're dancing, you know it's gotta be good. That sauce just makes me wanna dance. I'm gonna finish this one for sure. So now that I've tried the slider, it's only right I try these egg rolls and see if Jake was actually accurate when he said these things are dancing good. I'm gonna try that same sauce that made you dance. Mm. Oh. This is probably the best thing we've eaten all day. It's interesting. Wow, that's really good. The solid heat, the crunch of the egg roll itself is super crispy. It's like biting into a chip. Really well made here. It's interesting though, because what they have advertised for the Nashville Hot Chicken Week is the slider, and that's good. It's just so spicy. It doesn't have a lot of juiciness flavor to it. This, on the other hand, is accompanied with these sauces that make it just over the top a little bit better than it needed to be. And honestly, these are something we'll finish. But hey, still got some more to eat, so. Let's get out of here. Mi amigos, it's time for some Nashville hot chicken tacos here at Family Tacos. Look, I'm all about being a family channel. Me and Jake, we're very family oriented. Let's see how these tacos are here, come on. Is this where we order? I need to go inside. I saw an open sign, let's go check it out. Oh, so it's real family oriented. Good, how are you? We're here to try those, uh, the Nashville hot chicken tacos. All right. This feels very cute, family oriented. Is this your nina? Yeah. Oh, see family, I like that. Family tacos, is your whole family work here? Just me and her. Just me, okay, okay. <laughs> so you like yes, please. How many come, just one or two? Oh, perfect, let's just get one order of that. Over here. 
Yes, please. Cash or card? Card. Oh, sweet. Look at that. You get a fountain drink, too. I'm thirsty. Oh, that's very family. I love that. This is a different vibe than I would be normally used to from the outside, but it's kind of cool. It almost feels like end of the world bunker. Like you come in here when a tornado's hitting and you're good. We're in a cement blocked off room. It almost feels like it used to be a mechanic shop. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. There's obviously no AC, but you almost feel like airflow in here. It's really like, cool. It feels like a jail cell would. I mean, hey, I, I can't complain. On a hot summer day, this might be where I am. Anyways, let's try some horchata. I don't know if it's homemade or not, but I mean, it's family here, so I feel like it's gotta be. Let's taste it. He didn't even put ice in here. <laughs> no. Shiver me timbers, that's good horchata. This is definitely homemade horchata. I'm an horchata fiend, and this is something I can get in between. <laughs> so first thoughts, man, they look and they smell amazing. They smell like real good. This it's, might be a bomb spot. This might be actually a bomb spot to come back for, I want this middle one, honestly. We're gonna put a little lime. It comes with it, why not try it? Comes out with like a chili aioli. He brought some salsas out with it. Jake's done completely just changing the flavor of it right now, but we're gonna go for it. Definitely feels like a homey type vibe of a restaurant for sure. Let's try it. Mm. Oh, man, good. Oh my God. Crispiest hot chicken we've had today without losing the flavor of the restaurant, still being a Mexican restaurant. Mexican flavor, very, very good. Oh, medium spice, I can get a little bit of spiciness to it, but I'm enjoying the flavor with it. A lot of the other places were dry rub, spicy, and no flavor. Oh, I'm curious what their normal tacos taste like now. Wow. And let me tell you, it's super crunchy chicken. Even though they're just little slivers, super crunchy. And that onion just goes with it so nicely. I'm going to try the salsa rojo. Mmm. Wow. That's all I can say. Mmm. 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 Mm. For the $7 price point, these smack. Holy smack. Wow. Three tacos, seven bucks. And a drink. And a drink. This is my favorite so far. Look, if we're hungry for the rest of the week, I'd come back and have the same meal for seven yeah. bucks. But now let's change the vibe completely and let's go have another place that I have in mind. Come on. Let's go. I don't read Chinese or anything, but for some reason I just think this says enter. So now we're about to have some walk and this place has an interesting name, Punk Walk. I'm thinking that it's like punk rock, but I think it's just a little accent. We'll ask them. Hey there. Y'all open? Yeah. Oops. Wait. Hey, how are you? Hiding down there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming this place is Chinese, so let's ask how we say the name of this place. Hi guys. Hey there, how are you? Yes, please. We're gonna be going off that hot chicken menu. Oh, okay, we just have the one. Uh, yeah, we just want that. Sandwich. Just one, but I have a question for you. Sure. How do you say the name of this place? Punk rock. Like punk rock? Like, yes. <laughs> I like it. Love I just it. didn't want to say it and then be racially inappropriate, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, I'm just always thinking ahead. Wow, I'm not gonna lie to you guys right now, this might be probably one of the prettiest looking things we've gotten today, and I'm excited to jump into it. So as you can see, we got the spice coming in from the peppers over here. It almost looks like an orange chicken to me right here, so I'm interested on how this is gonna be the Nashville hot chicken, but we got the spicy oldies underneath, we got the carrots, the onions, let's get into it. Let's check this out. We're gonna fold it just like that, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, shh, look at that. It ain't gonna stay together for sure. Look at that. I cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it in half. So now that I've got it in one hand, let's try this thing. Mm, oh my God. This has the best flavors rocking out of here. Literally rocking out of here, walking out of here. This is incredible. Although I'm not feeling the Nashville hot chicken, I'm tasting some really good quality chicken. And that beats the hot chicken at some of these other spots. So this, man, if you're into a Chinese sandwich, this is something different, this is something tasty, and I hope this is on the regular menu. Honestly, Jake, get in here, try this. Oh my God. The sauce in it, incredible. Cucumbers in it, incredible. Carrots, everything. Chicken, tender, juicy, tasty. <laughs> Oh my God. I'm gonna bite and the switch. Okay, with those kind of faces, I definitely have to try it in there. Oh my God, Jake. I can't even tell you how good that is. Oh, the bread's so soft. Oh wow, he's got a big mouth. I need to slow my chewing and enjoy this. That is a bomb ass sandwich. All right, it looks like he's making love. Mm, give me a little bit longer. Let's speed this up a little. Okay. Uh, that bread, 
is mouth-watering. Every single thing about it, I will say I'm not getting a natural hot, but there is a heat level to it. And it's incredible, the truly delicious sandwich. This is my winner. Good old gracious, you guys. I am absolutely in love. That place was delicious, but now it's time to rank it, so let's do this. So let's rank these restaurants now from the worst to the best, okay? Yeah. So the first worst, I'm gonna have to say, was that avocado toast. Yeah, the first one. It was way too salty. Way too salty, not enjoyable. It was like they were overcompensating for something with all this salt. I didn't like it. The next worst one, I mean, I, I tried a little bite of it too. Uh, I, I already know, that empanada. It wasn't good. It, wasn't it, it good. didn't give me any flavor of hot chicken at all, and it just no. wasn't tasty. It was weird. No, it was weird. The next bad one that I'm going to say is probably that waffle slider thing. It was yeah. just too much waffle. But that egg roll was good, but it just wasn't part of this. Nashville hot chicken contest. Yeah, no. It wasn't up. part of it. The slider wasn't very good. It was way too spicy and just yeah. not enjoyable. Then making our way up. So now let's go to like the better one, which second was second place. Second place. The, the tacos. Oh, the, yeah. The tacos. <laughs> the tacos were good. Tacos. Fire tacos. I'm actually going to go back to that place and try it out yeah. as its own Mexican spot yeah. because those were impressive. Definitely. And the winner, obviously we just ate it and you saw our reactions. Woo. Although I will say one comment, it wasn't as Nashville hot chicken, no. but it was fire. But it was so good. And they're good. in the competition. So we're going to give it up to Punk Walk. Honestly delicious. That thing was so damn tasty. I can't get my taste buds to forget. Uh, I might go back in there and order another one to be honest. So there you have it. That's our rankings. Pick up some merch. BrennanTaylor.com yeah. if you like what I'm wearing. We got all the coolest stuff. And uh, hit the subscribe, hit the like, and we'll see you guys when we see you. Peace. I'm so exhausted. I'm always nauseous.